Hello there, Cancer. Thanks for tuning in if this is your first time. And for those of you that are coming back, welcome back. Uh, it's always my pleasure to read for you guys and be here in this moment with you together. Um, this, this time around, we're going to be looking at the last two weeks of February. I'm doing a mid-month reading uh, just because I think we're going to be crammed up here, uh, well, especially me, uh, for time leading into the March monthlies. Um, and we're just coasting out of February anyways. Uh, the moon is pretty much done its thing. Jupiter has done its like weird cue ball English thing. Um, and so we're gonna we're just gonna kind of here look at two weeks here instead of this being a regular weekly. We're asking what are the messages for cancer for the last two weeks of February 2017, Tarot. What does cancer need to hear as we coast out of February? Here in 2017. Okay, I hope all of you uh, find uh, yourselves in uh, abundance and prosperity, good health. I wish that for all of you. I hope these readings are truly helping those that are feeling stuck. We're going to get into it right away. Uh, no beating around the bush, so to speak. Because uh, I'm not asking for uh, donations or personal readings or money or subscriptions or anything. I just want to help you guys out if I can. So overall energies, we have a seven of wands. So pretty good card to have here, Cancer, in your overall energies. You got a lot going for you. You got a lot with you and behind you. You got a lot to stand up for. It shows you might be needing to take that stand to, to keep what's rightfully yours. Um, and this could be matters of your heart. This could be material possessions. Um, and this could be visions and creative ideas. It could be a, a vast array of things. Um, but we're going to put that off to the side. And check back with that um, later on in the reading after we've looked at these seven major areas um, of life for you guys. First up, as always, the grounding position. Five of Cups reversed. Okay, um, a little bit disconcerting to me as a reader when I see this card come up reverse in a grounding energy. I just want to make certain that you guys have your heart in the right place. I just want to make sure you guys aren't dwelling over situations. I want to make sure that loved ones, people close to you, are not affecting you too much by perhaps their own... Um, not greedy, but their own selfish uh, nature even might be affecting you guys a little bit this month. Um, the full moon in Leo may have had some pretty heavier effects for you guys, I think. And you're coming through a bit of tumultuous times. But this card, the reverse here in grounding, is saying to take heart. Take care of yourself. Wrap yourself in comfort. And I don't know if this could be like purchases, like going out and getting yourself a, like a new duvet or like, um, you know, doing something, putting something in your environment that really makes you feel comfortable would be great for grounding energy uh, for you guys in these last two weeks. A lot of you in the enormous hem northern hemisphere might be like shivering to death almost. Like you're cold and you like don't want to have to go start the car, drive to work as minus 25. I know I don't. But this is like provide yourself in comfort and um, don't worry about the current environment feeling uncomfortable or stuck or sticky. It's showing that staying true to you and putting yourself first here can, can lead to a lot of good things. So... This Five of Cups is really like, let's see the big picture here to feel a little bit more grounded and happy in our in the current moment, you know, experiencing the current time. So that's there. We'll see how we progress from our root, okay? Some of you as well, watch watch what we're taking into our body here um, for nutrition and, and supplements and things like that as well. Could be a card speaking to health, although that's typically pentacles. This Five of Cups is saying there might be something out of balance that way. Oh, Queen of Swords reversed in your creative centers. What are you guys doing or what is happening to you that's causing you to really like withdraw here? Cause something is like almost like it's cutting you out of the picture it's, or it's cutting you off from certain avenues or paths or possible directions that you can go. It's something in your environment here is limiting your expansion. And this speaks directly here. Like, if this is a person, I would tell them to take a, take a hike. Get out of here for the time being. If this is someone that you're forced to deal with and you can't tell to take a hike, I would withdraw. I would with retreat from this uh, a little bit. Like, castle your king here. Like, get this, get what's close to you and what's still going good for you protected. Because it's almost here, like, someone's out to, like, kind of, like, snuff up all your energy, like... You know, and it could be like the things of your environment. Some of you could be sticky dealing with like 
sticky roommate situations or some of you could be dealing with um, somebody in your life that might be like drinking too much or like um, just really like putting themselves first and like you know not caring about you because you know their schedule and their plan is more important to you and it's limiting expansion here and it's shutting off um, passionate and creative endeavors um, this card when it's reversed this is always a warning no doubt about it no hands down no holds barred protect yourself protect what's yours uh keep keep what's close to you and and withdraw if this type of energy is coming at you then we're going to build a brick wall we're going to let we're going to um make sure that we're not being affected by this person the way that they want us to be affected by them it's, it's not like manipulative type energies but again it's like selfish type energies so i don't know why but i just got that sense here that this is affecting you and you you gotta put a stop to it okay cancer now what we got here in um in the solar plexus in our gut instinct is three of cups okay here we go celebrations not going as planned um mutual accords not uh being as unilateral um things like this decision making being one-sided somebody like touting themselves over other people um and at the expense of other people talking crap to make themselves look good this this three of cups reversed energy it might not be that heavy but as we're seeing it like kind of coming up uh coming up the spine here on backing these cards i just got this feeling here that you know, um, you're fed up with somebody. You are really fed up with somebody. And things things that you thought were going to happen are not happening according to plan. Um, and this is, again, we're I'm having a bit of trouble nailing this down here because we got this queen beast here and these lower pips um, as to what it is. So I'm going to keep it a little bit more general topic, saying it could be a vast number of things, uh, protecting what's yours. Um, so it could be your social circles. It could be, um, how you're feeling. It could be advice that you are like receiving that you might be kind of like wooed by, uh, like a promise of like a certain advice, a certain path to follow. Um, but you all, you're realizing that's not working out yet. So stand up, stand up for what's yours, protect it here. And if these celebrations aren't going according to plan, you're the gut instinct, the feeling here is just to let it go. Like, let it go. Withdraw here. Um, and when some people around you are smart enough to be like, oh, I really upset that person's feelings. Uh, uh, maybe I've been a bit of a dough head. Maybe I've been a bit bullish here. Um, and I should listen to this person, which this person is you, right? Um, by withdrawing, you can really sometimes bring people around by just like disappearing for a bit. Be like, I don't give a rat fat ass what you do or what you want to do, you know? Then that way, you know what? The consequences are going to be yours. So go ahead and do what you want to do. I'm going to, let, I'm going to watch you stumble, right? That kind of thing. So and some it brings some people around. Some people it doesn't. You actually have to watch them stumble in order to uh, to get it. And, and this person probably needs to stumble. They're probably being uh, a queen of swords. Okay, so in your uh, Sacred Heart um, area, we've got Death card reverse. Okay, so this means something that you thought you laid to rest could be resurfacing uh, in your heart. This could be uh, ex-lovers still nagging at you for something. This could be like uh, parenting agreements uh, that are breaking down. And I'm, I'm just going to say, it, I'm going to sugarcoat anything. This is It comes when it comes and it flows like a river. So this could be like parenting agreements um, that are breaking down. This could be like somebody like putting demands on your schedule again that you thought you had already cleared that up, but it's resurfacing. This is showing that a lot more work is going to be required um, to to put things, to bury things in the past. Um, and it's, it shows like some of the energy could be yours. Some of you is like kind of like, oh, you keep returning to it because you might have a soft spot in your heart for somebody that is just kind of like taking it for granted. But it also shows that some of this is like truly external. Some of this is truly like people just not giving up on you or coming back and like selfishly like, you know, slurping up. Uh, whatever good energy you got around you and you kind of like gotta stay guarded against that because you thought you put it to bed you thought you broke the chains 
excuse me, and that you were free of it. This one is hitting my heart chakra. This one is like, for some of you, I think this is pretty major. This is like heavy duty type stuff. Um, and getting what you want out of a person or someone trying to take too much from you. Okay. Again, a warning of staying guarded is retreating. Okay. This is death. Death is not bad. Even death reverse can, can sometimes really show you the light in in the darkness here of what needs to happen or what needs to be done. So I want to say search your heart and feel your essence, feel your being, um, and then you will realize who or what it is this situation because it shows that, like the tarot showing that you might not really be aware of of who or what it is right now just that it's kind of happening but some of you you probably are very aware of of what's going on um so feel your feel your being feel this in your body in your, in yourself right feel it in your heart and it's going to give you some direction okay there's direction in the heart chakra area with this card here coming for you so that's good news that's actually good news it's a scary you know scary oh very scary card but it's yeah it's just giving you direction okay so oh good good Forbes and this is telling you exactly here your best path to follow in personal truth look at that you know go and get into your sanctuary find the sanctity in your in the control of your own thoughts and your own emotions and even your own physical environment if you live with uh like maybe for younger viewers if you're in a house with many people you know you're starting out in life you know uh close that door put the do not disturb sign on the front doorknob uh that you took from the motel eight last month like do something where you're like and like make sure you got like some water in your room and like if you got an ensuite even better like just turn your place of comfort into absolute sanctuary and it doesn't matter if you're sleeping doesn't matter if you're awake reading some book or researching some like things that make you feel good this four of swords is saying let's take a break from the commotion this is like motion of the ocean causing some sickness in the commotion. Like a full-on locomotive train in full locomotion. You just want to like really withdraw, step back from that fast-moving like fire, fire, fire energy, right? This is going to be too much for you to handle this week, Cancer. And it's going to leave you feeling like depleted and frustrated. So this Four of Swords is saying in your personal truth, the best thing to do for personal truth is let's go find their personal truth and let's let other people bang their heads together, right? Let's let other people figure this stuff out, okay? We got like water energy. We got a fierce like mental, emotional mix energy here. So this could be things like that are really getting out of hand quickly because when we don't have the passion and we don't have the physical support around when it's just pure emotion and pure like intellectual mind stuff, it can really get out of hand quickly. So let's let's get down. Let's get let's turn our let's turn our bedroom into our holy place of recovery and rejuvenation. All right. I like that card there for you. As long as you heed this warning, this crap is going to not warning. As long as you heed this direction, this crap and these warnings are going to go away and you're going to be successful in doing this and standing your ground. All right. All right. Here we go. Envision questing Ace of Pentacles. Exactly right. This is going to lead you to some new direction. This is going to lead to new inspiration. It might not come right away. It might not be into a little bit into like later spring or March. The reversal on this is showing that it might be like a little bit way late and it shows that it's going to uh, need to include some pretty important uh, discernment um, in terms of the care you're taking when you do receive this inspiration and it could also be speaking that you may just need to hold on to it you can't let it be one of these great ideas or thoughts that's kind of fleeting like it comes and then oh it's gone because i was busy dealing with these people's you know bs so this is good this is showing that increased focus coming out of here is going to lead to some really good stuff possible opportunities and possible new directions for you and possible uh new health regimens for some of you as well i think this vision questing and this stuff too and like maybe coming through some of this in your heart and cutting out some of these energies retreating with some of the is going to lead to like some healthier physically healthier things for you so that's good that's really nice to see there cancer um you're the crab that's escaping from the bucket 
this at the end of this month. The rest of the crap is still in the bucket. You've got no time to get down because you're moving on up. Okay? All right. And here it comes. We've got Strength Card Reverse coming down into the Crown Energy from Source, from the Universe. All right? The reversal on this Strength Card is like... It's not the opposite. It's not lack of strength. It's just showing you, it's just reinforcing how much you need to find it even more. It's not saying you don't have the strength. It's not saying that there's going to be a lack. There's going to be weakness around. It's just saying, reinforcing how much more you're going to need to use it. And it's inner strength. And it's a new voice. And it really speaks positively of new intentions new passions, right? And something that is going to be revealed to you that you're going to be able to act on in order to achieve uh, this sort of escape and this sort of like defense that we're, that we're needing to have in this end of February from some conflicting energies coming up. Um, and these, these readings are really for the people influenced by cancers and the cancers that really need it. If this is not resonating for you, you're probably already in an okay place and you're doing okay and you're going to handle everything all right. Um, so it's not that I don't care about you. It's just that these readings are the, for the people that truly need it. And I feel, I hope you can see these cards. I kind of get excited sometimes. I, I feel the obligation to say that because... I've been, you guys have been awesome and I've been receiving really good feedback from, from people who have been able to take a lot from my readings, but the general reminder to those cancers that, you know, haven't been resonating with my readings, it's because I feel that this energy here, especially for the sign of cancer, is for the, those of you that truly are feeling stuck. I feel in this year one, cancers are like, and this is happening for Capricorn and Scorpio too, but cancers are like going one way or the other. There's almost like a break in the herd, a shift in the in the crowd. Like half of the cancers are, are coming through year one transformations and they're, they're progressing on already forthright and they're being really um, definitive in their discernments and their judgments and it's helping them out. But the other cancers have been taking a little bit longer because they've been dealing with some bullshit energy around them that's left them feeling a little bit stuck. And that's what the majority of this reading is for. You will catch up. You These cancers will catch up. They're just kind of divided from the main from the main energy, the main aspects of, of the this sign. And this is going, going back to like certain cancers with how much influence of, of certain things in, in houses and natal charts and all that other astrological stuff that is just like has could be its own other YouTube channel in itself. But I like tarot a little bit more because we're getting to the nitty gritty. We, we can recognize our full potential and we can get where we're going in life and our existence and back to and going back to like source energy and creating our own our own everything so to speak you know a tarot will help us get through the, the daily grind so okay cancer that's what i got for you this week i hope you enjoyed this the cards were uh they got better as we climbed up the chakra houses so that's really good that's really positive and um like I said, next week is a bit of a break as we get into the mo the March monthlies. So I want you to take what you can from this, carry it through the next two weeks. And again, uh, good health. I want abundance, right? And I want you guys to really take care of yourselves. And I'll see you next time.